So the first step we're going to do before we put the marinade on is to clean out all the excess blood that's on the inside. So let's move this guy over. And you can see there is still so much meat up in here. So it's already been pretty well cleaned out. I'll, I'll do a better job to get all the little bit nasty bits out. But. So let's get our hands dirty. So you can see the inside has a lot of this blood meat and some of the extracurriculars that have been left behind. You know, I don't want to get rid of everything. The blood meat, the nasty, the darkest stuff, we'll take out just because it's gonna have a really irony taste. Uh, but we're gonna leave a lot of this other good meat that's right back here. This is all really nice. Uh, and then we'll take out these leftover gills and we should be pretty good. Here's the kind of blood meat that you can eat, but I don't recommend it. We use the heck of a lot of paper towels and our knife to scrape out as much of the absolute mushy blood meat as possible. The rest of it will just kind of melt off hopefully in the oven. But now it's time to make our marinade. So our marinade for this one, my buddy recommended mirin and salt. I just don't have it on hand. So we're going to do a little bit of pure sesame oil, some aminos, some of this primal kitchen, no soy teriyaki, and some garlic salt. We're gonna mix that all together in this cup and then coat the whole beast. We're gonna set the oven for 325. And then once that preheats, we'll put it in after it's marinated. Right now, as you can see, the marinade is on there. We're gonna wait 20 minutes while the oven preheats, and then it's gonna go into the oven for two hours. All right, it's been 20 minutes, and I have moved the tuna head onto one of these trays to let the liquids drip down. We'll keep those for later. And I moved it vertical. My buddy Peter said that if you keep it vertical, it cooks more evenly, but I am a little bit scared because I don't know if it's gonna fit in there. So let's try that. Nothing fit. Oh, I can't put it on that tray. Dang it. All right, round two, not ideal. We took off that tray. So the liquids are going to be in the meat a little bit, but hopefully let's make this. No. Plan B, we're going horizontal. I've taken out every rack in this oven. Let's see if this will work now. Oh, it works. Oh my gosh, that's so hot. Okay, there we go. That is a big head. Two hours. All right, one hour time check. Holy cow. Things tilting over a bit. All right, so this is what it looks like after an hour and a half. Wow. The eyes, look at that, it's got cloudy. That's crazy. The mouth seems to open up a little bit. All right, let's pull it out of the oven. All right, so it's been an hour and a half. Let's take this thing out of the oven. It's not the biggest tuna head in the world, so we don't need to go for the full two hours. So let's grab it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is probably the craziest thing I've ever cooked in my entire life. And I'm excited to kind of start tearing the meat off the bones, putting it into a bowl, and then trying to figure out what we're gonna do. Are we gonna make this into like a tuna head salad sandwich, or maybe just eat it straight off the bone? Let's see how it tastes. This is insanity. Wow, it's so crispy looking. I don't know about you, but bluefin tuna is one of my favorite fish out there. And we have to be very cautious, you know, not to overfish them. But in our local area, they seem to be rebounding. So I'm excited to be tasting this amazing fish. Before we take off all the meat from the bones, let's have a little sneaky taste test right here. Oh, ho, 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 falls right off. Take a look right here. Okay, here we go. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's so juicy. Usually tuna, when you cook it, is like super dry. It's like a dry fish. It's buttery goodness. <laughs> this is insane. Oh, I gotta show the wife, I gotta show the wife. Not bad for tuna, right? I like that flavor. All right, tuna has been cooled down. Now we're gonna start taking off all the meat on the bones and putting it into the pork. Wow, look at that skin. Did it just rip right off? Oh, look 
at how oily that is. Oh my heavens. I, I should get a knife. That's still a little warm. Look at how much meat is in this head area. What the heck? Oh, oh jeez. That's crazy. That's, oh wow. Look at the eyeball. <laughs> It's like cutting a, a pig. It's like, look, chum. So moist and juicy. Oh, the cheeks. The cheeks. Look at that. Look at the cavity. All of that fat, juicy goodness. <laughs> look at that piece of meat. That's crazy. Oh, look at how much. Oh my gosh. That's bone right there. Oh, why do people throw this back in the ocean? It's so gelatinous. Let's get a taste test. It's like dark meat on a chicken. It's better than dark meat on a chicken. Oh my gosh. This is unreal. And it's super hot in here. Holy cow. It's like dark meat on a chicken. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> that is insane. The amount of waste is, is crazy to me. It just falls right off the bone. This is gonna make the most amazing tuna salad. Wow, look at that color. Oh man, That piece was a little bit more dry. Which makes sense, it's on the end. Look at this, look at this. Oh, it's so hot. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna bite a cheek. So bad. That's to be a crime to not use this. Guys, don't know what to tell you. Do not know what to tell you, but there is heaven packed in a tuna head that you just need to cook it. This is only one side of the head. Look at that meat. It looks like brisket. Crazy. If you know, you know, Eric Schatz Bakery is one of the best here in California. Got some Che bread. Look at that. This is gonna be one heck of a meat sandy. Meat sando. Meat and bread. It's not like how it's fit. It's really tender and juicy. Big baby. Ooh, want some tuna too? All right, we have finished taking off all the meat from the head of the tuna, and this is how much we have. <laughs> Whole Tupperware full, and it almost, if you look closely, right, looks like brisket. And it tastes, doesn't even really taste like fish. Like it's not super fishy, so this is like super exciting. I think now, the only thing that we can do is make a sandwich. Cut that open. Simple man requires a simple sandwich. Coat it with a little bit of mayo. And some of the fat, oh, this is a cheek. This is a freaking cheek piece of meat, super fatty. We'll get a couple different pieces of meat up in here. Bon appetit. So simple, so good. If you ever have a chance to get a tuna or your friends wanna throw away the head, take it, roast it in your oven and have one of the best sandwiches of your life. If you like this video, please subscribe, follow for more, leave a comment with your favorite recipe and I'll see you on the next one.